गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू टूडेज एपिसोड ऑफ पेज टर्नर आज एपिसोडान एक खूब ओल्ड फ्रेंच नॉवेल उलोवी आसा बट जे हमें तेज सिनॉप्सीस वाचपा रियलाइज जाए कि आज नॉवेल कित इंट्रस्टिंग आसा आज हा नॉवेल जे हम बरबर उलयते संगते कि आज हे नॉवेल कित रेलिवंट आसा वी हेव वीत जुजे लॉरेंसो जुजेक एक बर रायटर ट्रांसलेटर वत बट मोर देन दैट इज अ वेरी एविड रीडर एंड आई एम सो ग्लैड दैट ही चूज टू जॉइन अस ऑन दिस शो जुजे वेलकम एंड आई वॉन्ट टू स्ट्रेट अवे आस्क यू कि अराउंड द वर्ल्ड इन एटी डेज है ऑलमोस्ट एटीन सेवेंटी टू रिलीज जाले नॉवेल Why did you choose this novel for page turner? I think there are some novels which you read in your childhood, which have a deep impact on you. So when we, five of us children, we were very small. Uh, my father, he was a headmaster, a teacher. Yeah. So he bought us these uh, cl- classics in easy English. Hmm. Hmm. So you had Three Musketeers. Right. Yeah. Uh, Tale of Two Cities, Ivanhoe, uh, Les Misérables, and uh, this, and among them was this Round the World in 80 Days. So this is a story of a man, uh, an Englishman, who because of the new developments of the railway being developed mm. uh, across the world, yeah, is you know. it is uh, he is a member of a club mm. a british english club and these gentlemen are all sitting around talking and they say it's possible hypothetically possible to circumnavigate the world mm. travel across the world mm. in 80 days okay <laughs> and some of them say no it's mm. not possible yeah so this gentleman phileas fog mm. he says it is possible and he takes up a bet he bets 20000 pounds which is almost half his <laughs> fortune okay on saying that i will travel around the world hmm. in 80 days hmm. and he is a very systematic sar ko vyavasthit munis sokal cha satang gutpi sar ko on the dot satang gutpi uh, he goes to the walks to his to have his breakfast hmm. uh, at certain time then he goes to the club at a certain time yeah. then he will have his lunch at a certain time very systematic mm. and so he believes that you do things systematically you can travel <laughs> around the world in 80 days, 80 days. so okay. and what he experiences through these 80 days as a child mm. for me as a child of 12 yeah. 10 or 12 i was so fascinated true that i can talk about this book <laughs> without referring to any notes without uh, reading that book again yeah. every event all the major events in the yeah. book are firmly burnt into my mind okay. and that book has helped me okay a book written 1872 yeah by a french author jules verne hmm. about an englishman <laughs> phileas fogg and he is a uh, uh, man servant uh, passepartout right uh, and he is uh, you know adventures there they are clearly in my mind yeah and i apply those lessons that's why i chose this book <laughs> yeah very interesting and we are talking about 1872 mujhe tena internet na kay na and there is this person who chooses to you know just travel around the world yeah. and he is so specific ki itla this anithe possible as such mm. uh have i just uh, when i was scrolling through the synopsis i just read that even today a lot of people take inspiration of this book and actually you know set across On to travel in 80 days सो हाउ रेलिवंट इज दिस टूडे अजुन ये पुस्तक रेलिवंट क्या आज एटी डेज गरज ना तू फ्लाइट सारे बुक कर तीन दिस आखो संवसार पाला घर सारे बट दीस वॉज अ टाइम वेन ही हेड टू युटीलाइज द वेरियस एक्जिस्टिंग मोड्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट which meant the railway which right. was a major significant uh, development at that time hmm. then he had to utilize the steamer flights were out of the question <laughs> he had to utilize uh, in india when he's traveling hmm. he uses uh, the local transportation right. and he uses elephants oh, okay in uh, the us um, in, in traveling over the snow areas you know in in the winter time mm-hmm. in nebraska in the us he uses a sail powered sledge oh just sledge asta and takik world of sail asta ni the varya chair the person the pudi vetale 
and uh, various kinds of boats to travel right. across because he travels from uh, Great Britain hmm. to Bombay. Hmm. He comes, travels to Allahabad, and then he goes to Calcutta. Hmm. Hmm. From there, he goes to Hong Kong, and then on to Yokohama. Yeah, and then connects to the United States, hmm. to uh, Nebraska and uh, uh, Chicago. He travels through all these places. Okay. And finally crosses the Atlantic and which is back to the hmm. United Kingdom. <laughs> yeah. So this was for me also, it was literally for <laughs> us children, it was traveling around the world. Right. We who right. were sitting, we live in Bailey. <laughs> and we, our father was very strict. Yeah. So we had to stay within the four walls of our <laughs> house. But right. this was a fantasy. I could travel the whole world <laughs> with Celia's <laughs> fog. Yeah, true. Now coming to why I find it useful and why I apply it in my life. He's a systematic man and he believes that if you follow a strict schedule, hmm. you will reach. Yeah. But life is never about schedules working out. <laughs> Very true. True. Flight person gets left, <laughs> flight delays, <laughs> cancels. Huh? So, at every point, his determination hmm. That even if he has reached late somewhere, yeah. he will make up for that time. Okay. Hmm. He's a quiet, systematic, uh, you know, very <laughs> gentleman, but he's got this steely resolve. Hmm. Hmm. And there is one very crucial stage at the last part where he has crossed the Atlantic and he is trying to get to hmm. the United Kingdom, where he is on a boat, on a, a steamer, and he's not reaching, the fuel runs out. Oh. Okay. Coal, Zosa. Mm -hmm. The captain tells him, we have run out of coal, yeah. Mr. Fogg. <laughs> what do we do? Phileas Fogg tells him, I have to reach the shore. He says, you, you burn the furniture. <laughs> the captain says, what? How yeah. can I burn my, the furniture of my ship and all that? Right. At that moment, Phileas Fogg offers him to buy the whole uh, steamer, <laughs> oh, the boat. Okay. So he gives, the captain says, he offers him double the amount. <laughs> yeah. Captain says, okay. And he <laughs> takes the money. Now the boat is yours. Yeah. So Phileas Fogg tells him, burn the <laughs> furniture, all the chairs, <laughs> tables, everything, burn. So okay. the boat is going still further. Hmm. Then the captain tells him, all the furniture is burnt. What do we do? <laughs> he says, burn the deck of the ship. <laughs> oh gosh. Boti che fodiyasta ne. Ay, pulle. So, the captain is shocked, but he says, it's your yeah, ship, <laughs> you, your order is my command. Right. So, they break the deck of the ship, huh. they put that into the furnace, <laughs> they burn the full deck of the ship and just the shell of that ship <laughs> with Phileas Fogg and his uh, uh, you know, part, uh, colleagues who are yeah. accompanying him, two of them are accompanying him, I'll tell you about them, hmm. and they reach the end. Okay. So, the lesson for me was, when you are at a crucial point in your business, True. or you have set out to complete a project, do whatever it takes to complete it. Right. If you have to do something which sacrifices something that you look at as valuable, hmm. be prepared to let go of that. Right. If it will let you reach your goal. Yeah. I said, wow, because <laughs> today we are so materialistic. Na, 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 na. I don't want to lose this. I don't want to lose that. True. And in the process, you do not reach your goal. Yeah. So, for me, in terms of management, hmm, hmm, hmm. you know, achieving goals, I think this lesson, <laughs> burn the deck, is yeah. very profound. Right. Because right. I realize that, okay, I have to make sacrifices hmm, hmm. and to achieve something. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Juzi, can we consider this novel to be a traveler? Because it's all about traveling. Yes. And we feel that this novel is traveler <laughs> or this book is a mok the mok. So, yeah. can we consider this as a traveler? It is. It is, definitely. See, we don't have that practice here in India, but in the Western countries, in, in particularly in Europe, they had this tradition called the Grand Tour, hmm. where young, privileged uh, young men and women would, after their studies, embark on a journey across Europe. Oh, okay. And even in other countries, mm -hmm. just to see what the world was about. Yeah. They could afford it. Mm -hmm. So they would travel to Spain, to Italy, mm. even on to some other Asian countries. Mm. They would experience that and then they would come back and get a job and start working. Right. So in Europe, that tradition of travel was there. Mm -hmm. Because that's mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. part of the colonial uh, 
experience. True. They went with their ships and their trains and whatever. Mm. Uh, not trains, trains came later. With yeah. their ships, mm. they conquered most of this, the, their colonies. Mm. So, here with the advent of the railroad, it opens up a mm. vaster area of travel. Yeah. So, as I said, he travels from Europe to Asia, mm. that's India. From there, he travels to Hong Kong, that's mm. the Far East. From there, Japan and on crosses the Pacific mm. at the shortest point and he reaches uh, the United States. Mm. And then from the United States, he traverses the width of that, uh, you know, North mm. America and reaches the end, the eastern side yeah. of the United States and eventually crosses the Atlantic mm. and again travels to Europe to reach the UK. This is, <laughs> and if you really go to see, that's where the axis, yeah. where he covers all oh. that. He also passes through mm. Egypt. Mm. So he's traveling through Africa. Right. All the continents except <laughs> uh, the Antarctica and yeah. <laughs> the Arctic. True. So it is a travelogue. Yeah. And since he also, you know, explores the culture of all these hmm. countries. Right. That is very important. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so say, uh, this novel has been you know, adapted into so many things. Hmm. I mean, picture, films, television, theatre, new novels have been written around these topics. And you are, one of your stories was adapted as a movie also. Hmm. So I just want to ask you, novels, literature, uh, is it advantageous to, uh, to literature? Hmm. literature anik or is there also some limitations when it comes to these adaptations? A book, a text is always subject to your interpretation. The reader takes what he gets from it. Right. So there will be some areas which are factual, where they are travelling from here to there, which will not be much different. as They will be represented in the film very well. Right. Right. But in other ways, for example, the thinking of the characters, the portrayal of the characters, mm -hmm. there each director may take a different take on yeah, it. Yeah. For example, the classic Sherlock Holmes and Watson. Mm -hmm. yeah. Director and Kitlech yeah. film yeah. In yeah. some places okay. they have inverted the roles yeah. of Watson. Mm -hmm. Watson is shown as the intelligent uh, character and yeah. Sherlock Holmes is shown <laughs> as the fumbling <laughs> fool kind of. <laughs> so this I have not seen the film of around the world in hmm. days. Hmm. Then there might have been yeah. more hmm. modern versions. Hmm. See, in this film, hmm. there is also love, there is also romance. Hmm. You'll wonder how <laughs> this man who is very busy trying to stick to a schedule yeah. <laughs> and reach his destination within 80 days, where he'll find time for love and romance. And, uh, but when he's traveling through the you know forests of India, mm -hmm. he and his uh, uh, man servant, his uh, companion, mm -hmm. his name is Paspartu, mm -hmm. he is his assistant. So, French Munis. So, Sarkot's Godbota Utambor Munis. So, Sarkot's. Okay. Uh, and he's a complete contrast to Phileas yeah. Fogg. Yeah. So, they pass and they hear something going on in the forest. Mm -hmm. And there they see preparations for a Sati ceremony. Oh. So okay. there is this young princess, oh. her husband, the prince has died mm -hmm. and all preparations are made, being made that when the, yeah. her husband is going to be cremated, right. she is also going Good. to be, mm. she has to jump on the pyre. Phileas Fogg has never experienced <laughs> it and he is yeah. shocked. Mm. His sense of compassion, his sense of righteousness right. comes out. And then he says, we have to go to and he, both of them are trying to work out something. Yeah. So what he does is in the middle of the night, or, or rather, you the scene comes <laughs> to that point where the the Oh, okay. 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 They put the fire and they are about to throw her throw. in. They throw her into the fire also. <laughs> okay. And from that fire, a man rises up, <laughs> holding Auda. The princess's name okay. is Auda. Okay. Ta dorun, ta ujatlan bair sarta. And everybody, all yeah. the people who have gathered there of, for Hi. the cremation, they are terrified. Booth, booth, okay. So, Raja Ashil, Jitu Zalo, Anito, Bayana, and they all run away. Yeah. 
<laughs> and the man who has risen is Phileas Fogg. So, yeah, of he takes the place of the dead prince oh, at night. Okay. <laughs> And he lifts Auda, yeah. who has become unconscious with that oh, fear and fright. Right, right. And he and Paspartu take her away to safety. Okay. And she is also a very capable young woman. Hmm, hmm. So you may think this is an old novel, it would be very chauvinistic. Yeah. But she is shown as a, also an empowered, bold hmm. female uh, character. Okay. And in that process, her tenderness, her beauty, yeah. her resoluteness, hmm. Phyllis Fogg falls in love with her. <laughs> okay. And the, you know, the gist of the, the, the crux of the book at the end, they are soggly on, it's a delay on, as on, as on. There is one uh, detective fix. So, hmm, hmm. uh, at the beginning of the journey itself, there is a burglary committed somewhere. Okay. And there is a man who, who looks just like Phileas Fogg, who is uh, accused of that crime. Ha. So, fix thinks that Fogg is the one who has collect, uh, committed the Sorry. crime. Okay. And he chases him. Okay. <laughs> he chases him all around the world. Oh! <laughs> As God. these fellows yeah, go around there, through. 80 days of traveling the world, Fix also is following them. Yeah. He is so, uh, financed by his police department whatever, okay. to capture him. Mm -hmm. So, in the end, the Fix causes a lot of delays and problems for okay. Fogg. Oh. And mm -hmm. he doesn't reach on time. So, Pants maintain late Pauta. Mm -hmm. After okay. traveling the whole world, yeah. he reaches the reform club in mm, the mm. in London by five minutes late. They know. And he gives up <laughs> and he says, too bad. <laughs> by that time, Fix has found the real yeah. culprit <laughs> okay. and he apologizes to yeah, Fogg. Fogg. Mm. Fogg kit karta, you have lost <laughs> me 20,000 <laughs> pounds. What does it do? It just goes up to him and gives him one punch <laughs> and that's it. No other punishment. Okay. It doesn't take any other revenge on <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Then he turns to Auda and says, I've lost everything. Yeah. Will you marry me? <laughs> right. He makes that marriage proposal. Yeah. And she is completely <laughs> overwhelmed. She says, yes, yes. And you know, they hug each other and all that. Yeah. And he tells Paspar to go right now and book the marriage uh, right. office. I, well, let's do the ceremony. He goes there running there and Paspar to comes back yeah. saying that that date, whatever mm. he has said, the mm. date and time, that is tomorrow. Oh. It's not today. Fox says, what? <laughs> How can that be? And then they realize that by traveling oh. around the world, they have gained a day. <laughs> okay. Right. 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 Yeah. So they've gained a day. So right. they've reached well Early. in time. Okay. Because he reached five minutes late, he didn't even bother to go to that club and claim <laughs> oh. his prize. Right. But he has, yeah, he has reached uh, one Early. day mm -hmm. earlier. Okay. And he runs to the club, <laughs> they race to the club and he says, gentlemen, <laughs> I have arrived and uh, he wins the bet. Right. Right. right? So, uh, this is the whole thing. Yeah. So, he has, there is this, you know, <laughs> you could say work-life balance. <laughs> Even in all this, you can find love <laughs> through all your yeah. <laughs> work and struggles. You will find love if you just look around and do the right thing. It's very true. He very rescues true. her. Yeah. And he wins her, Barabha. you know, and he wins mm. her love. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, because the, 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 that's, you know, the, the first time in the management <laughs> lesson is burning of the ship to reach the goal. The second lesson that I found is that don't be only with your work. Find love as well. Like, <laughs> look Very around, true. be, love all the people around yeah. you, take them with you on your journey. True. Right. Yeah. And the third thing is that be aware that nothing only goes as per uh, you know your, your timing True. there is something called serendipity yeah so he has reached yeah. unaware of that uh, time difference True. he has reached one day before right. and that chance that sort of destiny that fate hmm. you must also factor in your yeah life, life, work, balance, in management, yeah. be aware that <laughs> things will change yeah. and uh, grab that opportunity yeah. and go forward and achieve the goal. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. You may say it's God, you yeah. may say it's luck, <laughs> you may, but it's always knocking at your door. Absolutely. If you ignore it, hmm. if you say, no, 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 I have got to do this, <laughs> I am just going to ignore right. that, yeah. you are just throwing away the yeah. uh, chances that destiny has given you. Very true. So, Very these true. are the three lessons in terms of 
management and <laughs> life management yeah. that I learned from it, <laughs> yeah. which I use all the time. Yeah. And so relevant today also. Yes. Like, uh, I asked you about Very the relevance. Much. And I think this novel also speaks about those times and the socio-political things that used to happen during those times. Yes. Like, I think that the truth is 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 that and if the ullek na jale like you said ki somebody is trying to overcome those yeah. things which were there during those times yes. so this i just want to ask you the last question of today's show this novel is obviously in french and it's yes. english in what's last time so and translation english also in easy english burgi ponan easy english ave ajun mood novel ha kadambari vachle na mood mache heavy english in dastali right Right. But as children, we got it in easy English. Right. It was slim book, just so slim. Like. <laughs> okay, okay. So we got it through translation, obviously. Yes. Then we know how important translation yes. is. Yes. Right. But I want you to answer this question as a translator and as a reader who could read so many things in translation. Yes. Ki kida kam chakati translation garje chhe? Ani kida translations wad pak zayam chhe? Hey. Halins, I'm just like baro pustaka to swara dalo bai. मौजाचो ताची कादंबरी जीव दिवू चा मारू आणि जेरी पिंटोन ताचा अणकार केला आणि तुय जेरीन आम्ही उलयताले अणकाराचे हेजेर ताचं महत्व किती असा आणि जेरी म्हणपा लागलो यो होल वर्ल्ड अराउंड यू इज इन ट्रान्सलेशन राईट ही सेड यू गो टू द चर्च the bible that you are following the mass that you have read thousands of masses you are attending yeah. are all in translation. translation the you know even the lessons in your book that, that you are learning is through translation N- uh, things that you are not aware of which are part of your life we, they are all in translation they are ankar na zaler kinds dauche na we will be in all separate cells box an turtle ami the world will never become Yeah. one unified thing True. the english language is not no longer the domain of the english people it is a universal language True. we use it as a tool hmm. Hmm. and in india yeah. hindi is the right. connecting language and kar jata the see from konkani to hindi and then from hindi it goes to various other, other languages, languages. Right. Right. so it for the akatni not only for novels or fiction hmm. or non fiction many scientific books आणि आमचे जे केमिस्ट्स द फिजिसिस्ट्स जर्मन फ्रेंच असतात लवयजियर कितलेचे वेग दुसरी देशांतले भाषेतले हे झाले आहेत इन्व्हेन्शन झाले आहेत टेक्स्ट बुक्स असतात ते अणकार करून आमचे कॉलेजीन पावले सो इन अकॅडमिक्स इन इंडस्ट्री इन एड्युकेशन अँड देन इन एंटरटेनमेंट यू ॲक्च्युली गोड वी think of translation is in uh, fiction literature mm-hmm. books mm-hmm. but it has started way before that Some. when the world mm-hmm. got connected True. and through the industrial revolution yeah. publishing took place on a large scale magi tache copies kadpa lagle prat jay title prat meltale azrani sogle sansarak pavtale then ek ankar kelo akhe sansarak pavtalo tach poil nashile the so that time it was more confined to their own regions mm-hmm. so translation is supersedes and extends beyond literature very true but it, the literature is our soul ne <laughs> yeah, that's the language of our soul so for us for our yeah. soul getting translations of novels Baruch. short stories they yeah. amka khub barak pat samke faida samke samke and it unfolds a different world which if translation nashile jale jag bharan kire challa he amka tancha literature acha truth kalta ni je amka culture nashile ani ashes ek jag barati ki sundar kahani he novel tu amcha khatir unfold kele thank you so much jose for yes. joining us on today's episode and for unfolding this beautiful journey uh, of 80 days uh, sorry around the world in 80, 80 days, days by uh, this french writer jules one and i would like to request our viewers also this novel is available on amazon on all uh, platforms and please do uh, read this book uh, it's a very interesting book and it has a maximum synopsis as amka kaya so i'm sure you all want to read this book and uh, do join us for more episodes of page turner do follow us uh, at reads and books and palashagni studios and uh, we will be back soon thank you so much